Adam, I've already done my 10. Move your hoop back a little bit. Challenge yourself. Aiming arm, um, bean bag, by our ears. Oh, I missed, that's okay. Hi kids, it's two. It's me, Adam from Pitch Sports. Today we are looking at throwing and aiming. All you will need is a hula hoop, a box, and a bean bag. If you haven't got a bean bag, a rolled up pair of socks is absolutely fine. If you haven't got a hula hoop, a dressing gown tie is absolutely fine. And if you haven't got a box, a cardboard box or a bucket is absolutely fine. So let's get started. So level one, using your bean bag, you're going to do the PH Sports clap and catch challenge. You're going to throw it up, clap as many times as you can, and catch your bean bag and cuddle it. So you throw it up, clap, catch, and cuddle. Count how many claps you can get. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds. Ready, go. Throw it up, clap, and catch. Keep your eyes on that bean bag. Keep it going, try and beat your best. Throw it up, keep your eyes on the bean bag. Clap, catch, and cuddle. Keep saying that to yourself. Clap, catch, cuddle. Clap, catch, cuddle. Keep it going. Keep on going. 10 seconds left. Try and get the best score you possibly can. Throw it up, clap your hands nice and quick. Catch and cuddle, catch and cuddle. And stop there. Well done, level one completed. If you're really happy with your score, please let PH Sports know. Get mums, dads, adults, carers, anybody in the house to let PH Sports know your score in the clap and catch challenge. So, level two. You're going to be inside your hoop on both your feet. You're going to hold your wrist, your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders and your elbows are not going to move. The only thing that's going to be moving is your wrist and it's a flick of the wrist. You're going to try and flick your beanbag into your box five times. That's one. Keeping that wrist nice and strong, a one, two, Three, motion, there we go, that's two. Keep your eye on the bucket or your box, know where it is. I can see mine, that's three. Keep on going. That's four, if you're already completed, keep on going. Try and beat your best. Oh, I missed, that's okay. So I'm going to keep on going until I reach five. One, two, there we go, and that's my fifth one in. So that's level two completed. Well done. Have a quick break here. Ten seconds, go and grab a drink. Well done, welcome back. Level three, we're back inside our hoop. This time, we're gonna move our hand down to the elbow. So now it's our elbow with the moving motion. Still, my feet, my knees, my hips, and my shoulders are not moving. Just my elbow, five times again, the one, two, three motion, trying to throw the bean bag into the bucket or box. Five times, so that's one for me. Here we go. Oh, I missed, that's okay. So I'm gonna keep on going, it's all right. Missed again, that's a shame. But I'm gonna keep on going, it's fine. Failure it does not matter. Two. Three. Keep your elbow nice and strong. One, two, that's four. One more go. And there we go, that's my fifth. So we're now on to level four. We're doing really, really well, keep on going. This time, we're moving up and we're throwing with all of our arm. But we're not gonna hold our armpits, no. With our spare arm, we're going to be pointing to our target, which is the box. Your bean bag is going to be by your ear, 
your elbow nice and high. And from this position, you're going to try and push through and throw the beanbag into the box. That's one. Can we try and get that in ten times? Two. That's okay. Still on two. Three. Four. Five. But can anybody notice what I'm doing with my aiming arm when I throw? When I throw, my aiming arm is coming down. So as I push through, my aiming arm is coming down. I'm on five, so I've got five more to go. Six. If you're thinking, Adam, I've already done my ten, move your hoop back a little bit. Challenge yourself. I'm on six. Seven. Eight. Nine. I've got one more left. Ten. Well done. Key stage two again. Have a break. Have a drink. Ten seconds. Go. Welcome back, Key Stage 2. This is level 5. We're going on one foot now, and first foot is going to be our left foot. Just like a flamingo, on one foot. Inside our hoop, aiming arm, beanbag by our ear, elbow high, and again, try and get it in 10 times. One. Two. Oh, it's bounced out. I will count that, it definitely went in. That's three. Four. Five. Now if you're thinking, oh Adam, it's a little bit hard for me, just go nice and slow. It's not a race. You haven't got to keep up with the speed I'm going at. Take your time. Stand there slowly. Compose yourself. Stand still first. And then get ready. If you're thinking, well actually Adam, this is really easy. Move your hoop back again. I'm on five, so I've got five more to go. Oh, off the rim. Six. Seven. Oh, off the rim again. Remember that aiming arm, it's very important. Eight. Nine. One more left, can I get it in? Ten, yes I can. Level. Six. Now onto our right foot. So right foot in the hoop, left foot in the air, aiming arm pointing to our box, being back by our ear, elbow high, all oh, just missed. Again, can we try and get it in ten times? Here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Key stage two, remember, if you're finding this a little bit tricky, please do not rush, do nice and slow. Compose yourself inside your hoop. 
onto one foot, nice and slowly, you haven't got to rush it, and throw it. If you're thinking, Adam, it definitely is just too easy for me, move that hoop back again, challenge yourself. And if you have no more room to move the hoop back, maybe start moving the box back. I'm on five, I've got five more to go. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. There we go. Key stage two. Have a quick break, have a drink, I'll see you in ten seconds. Go. Hi Key Stage 2, welcome back for level 7. Level 7, you're going to move the hoop and the box back one metre. The distance is now bigger. And you're going to be on one foot, but you get to choose. So for me, my strongest foot is my right. One foot with my left leg bent. My head and my chin up, aiming arm, being back by my ear, elbow high. When I push the beanbag forwards, my aiming arm comes down. Can you try and throw it into the box 15 times? Remember, it doesn't matter if it goes wrong, just keep on going. Here we go. One. Two. Three. Remember to compose yourself before you throw. Get into your ready position and then throw. I'm on three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Remember to go nice and slow. Get your beam back nice and high. Aiming arm point to your target. Eight. Nine. Ten. I've got five more. I'm going to go nice and careful now. I'm going to go nice and slow. Eleven. Twelve. Only three left for me. Oh, missed. But if you're already finished, you can move the box and the hoop back to make a big distance. Or for another challenge, see how many you can throw in, in a row. Go. That's 14. And that's 15. Key stage two, have a quick drink, a quick break for 10 seconds. Ready, go. Welcome back for our last and final level, Key Stage 2. It is level 8. And if this challenge is, how many times can you throw your beanbag into your bucket from your hoop on one foot without missing? So you're going to be inside your hoop on one foot, and you're going to see how many times can you throw your beanbag into the bucket without missing. And when you are finished, 
I would like you to get a parent, a guardian, any adult in the household to tell PH Sports your score. So you're going to keep on going at that level, but I'm going to go now. Thank you so much. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you have too, and I'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.